This will be the first occupational therapy LGBTQ fellowship in the country, and then to my knowledge in the world as well. So very excited for this um, opportunity to bring this to UC and then hopefully kind of branch out from here. The fellowship will be a year-long immersive experience. We're gonna accept anybody throughout the United States, so it doesn't have to be a Cincinnati native. Uh, they will come and live here at Cincinnati for a year and be a clinical and uh, didactic education component. So the fellow will, will work primarily in the clinics about 60% of the time, and then 40% of their time is gonna be more the academic kind of role. A mutual colleague introduced me to Michelle Leroy. She is a uh, OT faculty member at Colorado State University. And a lot of her research is done with the transgender youth. She is very involved in making sure like the modules that we're creating are very LGBTQ focused, but also has the occupational therapy mindset. So I invited her to be the co-director of our fellowship program here. But we definitely look at more of that holistic kind of care. So we look at the patients, you know, physical components, their um, social components, how they interact with daily living tasks in their environments not only at their home, but also like at a supermarket or um, in a healthcare clinic, going back to school or work. So I think in that gender for men care, we definitely have a big kind of scope. Occupational therapy has a lot of different roles to kind of help in that transition to help, you know, individuals in this population be more successful. Definitely the patient experience is what I really want the, the fellows to understand and kind of connect, you know, what is like the occupational therapy mindset? How can we, you know, help those individuals be more successful in those environments? whether they're interacting with patients, having that capstone experience to kind of have a project that is delivering that inclusive care, that affirming care. So really kind of mentoring the fellow to be good advocates for this population and good stewards of the occupational therapy profession to really drive our scope of practice in different areas that um, are not currently in that setting. So um, I would say definitely emerging practice areas is what we want to do, but also um, kind of connect more the education piece through different parts of the country as well.